So, welcome everyone. Uh, Jesse Bjorn got sick today, so I was asked to replace the live stream shadow boxing. I cannot do it live stream. Um, I'm not in Berlin, I'm filming here with my phone and I cannot use the, the live stream function. Um, in order to one day we might be able to do it, please tell everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have enough followers. This is something um, we can realize then. So I'm filming it now and you will see it later, but I will try to design it like a live stream session. Um, so I want to lose a few words about how um, I want to do it. We will have a warm-up together, mobilizing the joints a bit, um, and then I want to go for five rounds of shadow boxing with three minutes each, and we will have one minute of break in between. Um, we will have different tasks for each round, what to do in them, and uh, different commands. Uh, my idea is that you don't focus too much, so I will join um, the rounds here too and do my shadow boxing, but my idea is that you don't focus too much only on what I am doing here, but that you stick more with yourself and your skills and focus on how you can accomplish the tasks that you get for the rounds and um, that you have your ears there to listen to the commands I will, I will say in between. Um, yeah, I think it's more important you stick a bit to yourself than just spend so much time uh, watching and trying to imitate because I'm also, I do not everything perfect. I, I'm also just a human being. <laughs> I also have limited space, a bit uh, limited range of motion in my shoulder also at the moment. Uh, so I will, I will give the instruction, I will give the task, but uh, please make sure to find your own way how to do that. Of course, I'm not there now to give you feedback or none of the other trainers. And what we thought about um, is we would like to offer you to send your videos of your shadow box sessions to us. So if you want now, you can take um, the chance, film your session and then you can send it to us via our social media channels or also to our email address kadia at fenrisgerm.com I will also put it in the in the description of the video and you can just send your stuff we will watch it and then we can give a feedback for you give feedback on on your technique what we think you could still work on so yeah this is how I would like to do it today and let's just start so make sure you have a bit of space I'm also a bit limited in my space I need to watch out a lot I have a glass table here another thing here so yeah but you are probably already a bit used to this so we start with a warm-up, come into standing and we let our head fall down and roll it a bit side to side. And five and then we go for a few shoulder rolls and at the side one two three four five and let your arms swing to the side take one foot with you and just 
Let them fly, let them move. Okay, hip is still and we circle the upper body and big circles going around. And change direction. One, two, three, four, and five coming up and the hip. One, two, three, four, and five, and the other way around. One knee goes up and we circle it out. Another direction. And other side. direction okay hands on your knees feet next to each other and leave the whole sole of your feet on the floor and you should just start bouncing back and forth with your knees And then also here we start circle, circling out. Also here, leave the whole sole of your foot on the ground. In this way, we also warm up our ankles. And change direction. Okay, and come up on your Tiptoes and back up. And we take the arms with stretching them away from each other. And shake everything out a bit. Take your hips. And come to standing again. We stretch long, arms go up, we fall down, hands walk forward. And I show it from the side when you when you are over your hands with your shoulders, you go down for one push-up and you walk back. I try to do it a bit in this way. And we do a few repetitions of this, going back and forth. One, and two, and three. Four, five, six, and we go up until ten, seven. Ten. And come back up. 
Shake out again. Okay, and now we go from standing in a big step back in a lunge, reverse lunge, coming back up, giving a push kick to the front. I show it from the side. From here, step back, go down, come up, do your push kick. Watch out your, this knee, your front knee is in a 90 degree angle towards your, your ankle. And we go four, 10 per side. So start with one leg and we go. One, two, three, four, one hand stays in guard, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one more time. Roll your hips a bit in both directions. said we're a bit warmed up we mobilized a bit the different joints so let's start with the shadow boxing for the first round as I said like each round we'll have three minutes and different things to focus on in the first round we start easy coming a bit into it and maybe you also need to me for example I kind of need around to figure out the space I'm in here, check out a bit how much space do I have for different things. Um, in the first round I would like to focus on just footwork and strikes. So go for all the strikes you want to practice, go for them as start a bit easy with single techniques, move your feet especially for the ones who might still have problems not crossing the feet in between. Also have a look at uh, the video of Valerie where she is uh, showing how you can practice this with a lattice at home. Um, so footwork, strikes, and we have one command, block. So you do what you're gonna do moving, striking, whenever you hear me saying block, you go as quick as you can for your block. You can do front leg block, back leg block. You can also do the cross block. I'm taking my front leg, but going over to the side. Also perfectly fine to do that. So let's start. Can I put the timer somewhere you see it? I don't think so, but we will hear it and I will tell you. <laughs> so let's start round one. Get loose on your feet. Maybe decide if you want to work just in one stance or if you want to change every now and then. Get your upper body moving. And start with single strikes. And go for the ones you want to practice. And start easy, get a feeling for it. Remember turning your 
for everything you do. Be flexible here. Don't just work with the arms. Block. 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 We have one more minute to go. You can start increasing your speed a bit if you want. Combining a few more, few more strikes with each other. Block. Block. moves. So let's go again and we stick with our command of the block but we add a counter attack. You go block, knee, always after every block answer directly with your knee and continue with your strikes but also include the elbows and defense move, be flexible in your upper body. Block, knee. Block, knee. Block, knee. And try out the different elbows, up elbows, side elbows. I don't know what these are called, push to the front. You can also try the spinning ones if this is something you like. I'm actually pretty bad at it. I should do it. <laughs> and block knee. And block knee. And block knee. Continue with your strikes. Switch your stance if you like. And block knee. And block knee. 
and also go for same side block, knee, block, knee, and I keep moving, keep moving around, imagine someone standing in front of you, Um, block knee, block knee, block knee, and last 30 seconds, block knee, block knee, and block knee, block knee. Keep moving. Last seconds. And time. Okay, another break exercise. We go for 30 seconds, quick, long punches. Let's go. Long arms. Take your hands back to your face after every move. And keep going, keep going. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Twenty minutes rest. And now we start with the third round. In the third round, we do have, we want to take our kicks in now. And we will take a full round working on them because these are really tricky to do at home. Yeah, really be careful and take a round to see how, how you can do them here, how much space you have and go for all the kicks you want to do, the low kicks, I have to be careful here, teeps, front leg, back leg, and if you have enough space you can try your mid kicks. I'm also taking in a chair here and play a bit around with it. I need to silence this. It. So make sure you go all the way. And I'll also bring some strikes in in between and combine it, getting a bit used to the kicks moves. Measuring the distance to your chair. Imagine this is your opponent. We can also come a little higher if you want, if you want warm enough. So here over the chair, mind your step out, not coming from directly this turn. seconds to go. Keep going, keep moving, keep kicking. Last 
seconds. And time. Task for the break. We go for 10 push ups. Make sure you do them properly. I'm pretty bad because I have a shoulder injury. See what you can do, but don't take the full example on me. Come down on your hands and we go for 10. Hands underneath the shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Have a break. Okay, we come to fourth round. You go for full shadow boxing now. Bring everything together. Your strikes, your kicks, your elbows, your knees, your defense moves. And uh, we have another command, the teep. Whenever you hear teep, boom, quick. As quick as you can, bring a push kick forward. Imagine you want to stop and attack. So start combining things. I also I choose a fixed combination now, an easy one. Let's go for a jab, punch, hook, and a low kick. This is also a command which will come. Combination, jab, punch, hook, low kick. I hope the low kicks everyone is able to do. Jab, punch, hook, low kick. And deep. And in between, keep going with what you want to do. Deep. Moving. Ah, combination. Combination, jab, punch, hook, and a low kick. And in between, keep moving, keep working. And tip. Tip. Combination, jab, punch, hook, low kick. And again, combination, jab, punch, hook, low kick. Deep. Deep. Combination. Last minute. Combination. And keep moving. Deep. Deep. Combination. Combination. what you want to do for your last round. The last round is complete again. Full technique set and we bring in all the different commands we had in the last round. So your block, block knee, teep and the combination jab, punch, hook and the low kick. For the rest make a review of the past rounds. What did you like? What didn't, what, 
what you were unhappy with maybe in your performance and find a good thing to work on in the fifth round. So get ready and we go. Three minutes full and listen to the commands. Combination. Block. Block knee. Deep. Combination. Combination. Block. Deep. Block knee. keep moving also think about your defense moves combination seconds Speed up. And time. Okay. Get your body loose a bit. Take some water. short cool down a short stretching now you can join we can do together maybe you want to add on something to your shadow boxing now go for a workout or a more longer stretching for both versions you find the different videos in the uh, fitness training playlist so have a look around you can really combine your 
own training sessions out of the different sections we give to you. So just have a look and you will find a lot of things you can puzzle together a bit. But as I said, I will do a short cool down now and start again. Let my head fall down and bring it up side to side. And I look back over the shoulders, left and right. Moving my shoulders a bit, I bring my arm, hands together and the arms out long to the front. So you have straight arms pulling forward. You should feel a little stretch next to your shoulder blades. Good. And back tall one more time. Up on your tiptoes and with breathing out, let your hands fall down. And bring your hands together. And your arms go up. back up again. We place our feet as far away from each other as we get and we push the hip forward from here. And we dive forward. You can place your hands towards your feet. And then we'll go over to one side. And to the other. to center and come down sit in position can you see me I need to go back okay one arm one leg is straight in front of you the other one is bent 90 degree angle and a long spine and go forward towards your foot and swap side. Lengthen your spine before you dive down. And come back out of it. my knees and from here sit back to stretch the quadriceps watch out how deep down you can get you can take your hands to hold your weight maybe you can go down on your elbows maybe you can lay back completely a lot of 
times. We are always very happy to get your feedback. So whenever you have wishes about techniques um, you would like to learn, if you have ideas how you would uh, prefer the structure, how the live trainings are going, please just reach out for us and we will do our very best to include your wishes. Have a good day everyone and I hope to see you soon.